Hey, what's going on YouTube? Um, so I wanted to post a video on a problem I had. Um, I have, uh, I got three cars. I got two normal cars and I got this little classic, uh, 1960s VW Beetle. And I, I don't have a three car garage. I have a two car garage. that's kind of deep. Um, so like we talked about maybe adding a, adding an addition or storing it in some storage unit. And I didn't really want to spend a bunch of money. Um, you know, doing that. And so I went over to Harbor Freight, got a pair of wheel dollies after a buddy recommended it and had those for like three years. And it sucked. I never liked doing it. The car fell off one time. I mean, the dollies sucked. They're crap. So, you know, I, I saw these and knew they were real expensive. Um, these are go Jack five, two, one, ones. Um, and they're made in the USA, and I was like, all right, fine. I'm going to break down when I get these. I couldn't even buy them all at once. It, I didn't have enough money. I had to buy two and then kind of wait and uh, ask for one for a birthday present and then then bought the last one on sale. So I got all four now. Um, they're amazing. Um, I can't really describe how much better these are than the Harbor Freight ones. But you can see I got an old garage. Um, it's got a bunch of cracked floors. Uh, there's a bunch of bumps and humps that, ha you know, when you push a car around, it has to go over top of these, uh, pretty, pretty significant cracks here. Um, garage actually, we found this license plate when we were taking the part of the walls off to 1910. So the garage is kind of old. Uh, so we keep the car normally back in this corner during the winter so we can pull our regular cars in. Um, but these new dollies are amazing. So I'll give it a little, little push here. Watch, watch one finger. Look at that. Look at that. No, not really. I'm using my knee, but anyhow, it's not actually that hard. So if you push it like this, no big deal. Car just goes rolling. Um, it goes over the bumps, no problems. Um, then, uh, you know, once you push it in position, everything's good and you got the car in the right spot. Um, if you want to go ahead and put the dollies away, I got this little uh, wall mount here. So here's how it works. Step on the dolly, which one of the really nice things is I used to have to use my little, uh, my little, you know, mechanic jack to lift the car up and then slide those crappy Harbor Freight ones in. Um, these have built in uh, ratchet mechanisms. So there's a little lock here. You're going to pop that little lock and let the guy go up. Flip this cam down to that. That's the unlatch versus latch. So now when I pump the dolly, it's actually it's actually going down. So once you get the dolly all the way down, and there I can see it's on the floor. You're gonna just pull this little guy right off. Try not to run into the fenders. And then uh, you know once you're ready to put it away, make it a little bit smaller here. You're gonna go ahead and go back to latch. I actually want to latch it here. So I'm going to bring it in a little bit. You can kind of see the mechanism. See, as you crank it, it's, it's getting smaller and smaller and smaller. So that's probably about a good spot right here. Go down, put the little latch on. It's got a nice handle. It is very heavy. Come over to the storage area and pop the little guy on. It's out of the way. Don't need it until next winter. I usually I'll just leave the car out. If I had a nicer garage uh, with really nice floors, I might push it back and forth, but my other car is not that nice. So this one just usually lives in this side of the bay when it's not winter time. And that's it. Um, if anybody's interested on the uh, car cover, it is, uh, I can't remember. I'll try to post a link to where I got it, but I actually got the logo separate and just sewed it on the car cover. Anyhow, great thing. Works amazing. Lets me use my garage and get an extra an extra bay out of it, basically. Hope this helps somebody out. And uh, definitely, it is definitely worth spending the money and getting the USA GoJack version if you have the money. Much, much more than it is worth those Harbor Freight junky ones. All right. Have a good day.